How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well if you're a Samsung user then I'm sure you might already be using the Goodlock app on your phone and one of the most popular Goodlock modules which is available inside the Goodlock app is the Home up module with that said we have started receiving the much awaited update for the Home up module which brings a lot of interesting features that I'm sure you won't find on any other Android smartphones Guys these features will completely change the way how you customize your Samsung phone so stay tuned and watch this video until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first things first the version number for the latest home up module is 16.0.00.56 and i'll show you how to install it later in this video but before that let me show you all the interesting new features first when you open the home up module We get this brand new interface with a grid layout and there are different options like home screen, backup and restore, task changer, gesture settings, edge panel and share manager. So we have got couple of new options here which are the gesture settings and edge panel. First we will talk about the home screen features. If you go inside there are four options app icon settings, background blur, loop pages and finder access were already there in the previous version. But what's new here is the DIY home screen. When I tap on it and turn on this option, this basically allows me to freely move and rearrange the app icons and widgets on my home screen without having to worry about the grid size. Not only that, you can decorate your home screen by adding various stickers. Let me show you how it actually works. All you have to do is after enabling this feature, just go back to your home screen, long press, and here you get this brand new option called DIY home. This allows you to freely move your widgets and icons anywhere on the home screen without any restrictions. You don't have to worry about whether your grid size is 4 by 4 or 4 by 6. You can move the app icons and widgets anywhere you want and take your home screen customization to the next level. Not only that, you can also add stickers to your home screen by just clicking on this emoji icon and here not only do you get different stickers, you can add shapes, draw or write anything on your home screen and do lot more. So this is the level of customization you get with the Home Up module and you can do all this with the stock launcher which is something not possible on any other Android smartphone. So this is brand new inside the home screen option and if you didn't like what you did with the DIY home screen and want to go back to your previous setup then simply disable this DIY home screen option. That's it. Next, let's talk about the gesture settings and here is where we will see many interesting options that you can't even imagine doing on other phones. First we have got home gesture animation tuning. This basically lets you customize the home screen animation. Guys, now you can customize and tune the animation of your Samsung phone, which is something brand new. I think this is the first time we'll customize our phone's animations without having to root or install custom ROMs. Let me quickly show you how this actually works. If you go inside, you get options like classic, elegance, dynamic, sweet, and simple tuning. So based on your preference, you can select whichever you like. For example, if you are someone who prefers faster animations, then you can go with dynamic and once you enable this option, you will notice that the animations got a lot faster on your phone. Now if you want a bit slower but smoother animations, then you can select sweet and there are some more options like classic and elegance which you can choose as per your need. If you want, you can also tune the animations by using the slider. Going all the way to the right will make your animations a lot faster. and if you slide to the left it will give you kind of relaxing and smoother animations so these are some presets you can use to customize the animations but there is a lot more to it if you tap on advanced tuning and then go to detailed settings here you can individually tweak each and every setting and create your own style of animations depending on your requirements as you can see there are a ton of different animation settings you can tweak and create your own style Guys, I'll suggest you to spend some time and figure out what exactly works the best for you. But what I like doing here is I just reduce the stiffness a bit so the animations will get even more smooth and I also like to increase the wallpaper scale animation. Then we have got the blur option and enabling this will apply background blur when closing applications and going back to the home screen. Finally, I'll also increase the scale of the home screen animation a bit. So this is something which I like to change in order to make the animations a bit smoother but it might look a bit slow to you so I'll recommend you to tune it according to your taste and in case something goes wrong then you can easily go back to the default animations by clicking this reset button 
which is available right at the bottom. This is something really unique and I'm glad Samsung is the first brand to give us the freedom to customize and further tweak our phone's animations. Next, there is another important option which you need to enable here. Guys, if you're using Samsung Wallet, then you won't be able to access the recent page from the center of the screen because when you swipe from the bottom, it actually opens Samsung Pay instead of the recent applications. So if you're using Samsung Pay, then you need to turn on this option. This will basically improve the gesture sensitivity and help you easily access the recent app screen. Finally, let's talk about the Edge panel. If you go inside, you get two options. The first one will allow you to view all your favorite apps at once without having to scroll through the Edge panel. So if you have many applications inside the Edge panel, now you don't have to scroll to access your favorite apps. Once you turn this on, you can view all the applications in a single page without having to scroll and look for different apps. Similarly, when you enable the second option, this will enable the scrolling in the recent app section. So you can quickly access more apps from the recent screen. These are two new options available for the Edge panel. So if you're using the Edge panel on your Samsung phone, then go ahead and start using these features. These are all the new features they have added with the recent Home Up update and it is currently available for the One UI 7 users. So if you're using the beta version on your phone or you've got the latest Galaxy S25 devices, then you can go ahead and download the APK file from our Telegram channel. You will find a direct link in the description below. And if you don't have the latest One UI 7, then I'll suggest you to wait for some time. I'm sure Samsung will start rolling out the update really, really soon for all the eligible Galaxy devices. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.